I'm here at Rockford Park, and uh, they just had a 5K run. And on a whim, on a Friday, I decided to run on a Saturday. I've never run in any sort of organized run before, and I did this just looking for something to do on a Saturday that I wouldn't normally do, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to drive to New York or Philly. I just wanted something to do that I could get back to the house and uh, you know take care of other things that were important to me. Uh, I come here three times a week. I, I run here with my ex. Uh, I come here three times a week, and we run around here, but we run and stop, run and stop, run and stop. So that's about as much practice as I could say I've ever had for a run, other than the fact that when I get up in my, my mornings, even aside from that, I run about three quarters of a mile around my own block. Uh, then I'll come here either to run with her or I'll go on the other days to my local Y, and then I will uh, skate three miles around the park. And uh, that's how I get my exercise in the morning before work. And... Uh, so for me, I finished 49th here out of 75 on the field. Uh, I came in at 10 minutes a mile. In my heyday in high school, I was finishing miles at, um, I'd say, I was under four. I remember doing a, just about a three-minute mile before, which was, you know, world class. At one time, I think that would have won a gold medal in the early, like, the 1920s. I think they did that. Uh, that was, like, the speed. Um, so, I mean, when I was younger, I was... I was a great long distance runner. Uh, I would run around my high school track and I would time myself. So if you're wondering how I would know this, but uh, I ne I've never liked it, never enjoyed it. I, I, you're allowed to wear headphones here. So that helped. And uh, I had a good time doing it under those circumstances, but I kept getting these stitches in my side and had to stop because again, I don't run for long distances. So because of the stitches, I could not keep up a pace I wanted to. I think I could have stayed in the middle of the pack and finished probably in the top 30, maybe 25 had I not felt so much pain in my side from the stitches uh, and I think that just comes from not having you know practice uh, longer runs for a period of time that could have been worse um, again 49th out of 50 I'm sorry to 75 10 minute mile uh, per mile not proud of that I would like I would have loved I thought I was gonna come in at five minutes a mile because in high school you couldn't even be in the soccer team if you couldn't do a five minute mile and I always was way under that never finished at the end but you know I'm not in high school anymore and, uh, you know, we always think we have what we used to have. And with that, this is a beautiful park. I'll give you one quick look around just before I bail out here. But uh, this was a fun experience for me. If you were the type of person who is not a uh, straight up introvert, maybe, I guess maybe an introvert, put your headphones on. Come out. But if you're the type of person who's just looking for something to do, I, I think uh, on a Friday, I did a search, found this. They charged me 30 bucks to register. Not that big a deal. And I got the rest of the day to myself. I'm going to go home and do housework and all those things. And it's not even uh, 10 o'clock yet. So there you have it. Uh, I hope everybody kind of got a little bit out of this. And uh, I'll show you my bib here real quick before we bail out. And if you try to uh, look me up in any uh, race results and databases, I did ask them to purge me from the database for personal reasons. Um, as a digital marketer, I wonder how that's going to play out in the future because of the GDRP, um, GDPR over in Europe, people with their, uh, you know, their requirements for privacy, data privacy, because, you know, they put your age on these things and, you know, I'm out in the job market and I'm not 20 year any, years, years old anymore. And that right there is like one of those things where, you know, maybe you don't want people on your age or any personal information for that matter. So they removed me from their database at, by my requests, so you won't find me. Um, but as you can see, I had a bib here, so you know I really ran it. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, Danger Man out. Look for you on the channel, whether you're an inline skater, a paintballer, or you're just looking for some fun stuff to do in life. I hope you will share. And visit my website, DangerMansLayer.com, if you're a paintballer. I have 10 writers, always looking for more writers. I also have a digital magazine where something like this experience might wind up on DangerManMedia.com. That's a side initiative of mine where I put all of the writings that I might write somewhere else that, um, that nobody's paid for specific um, rights to. Uh, I republish them on that site and great articles there. Uh, again, guest write if you want from there as well. All kinds of pop culture. Uh, and with that, I guess it's time for me to say goodbye. Take care, everybody. It's too much for any man.